Hey guys, so if you're looking how you can actually export or import the templates outside or inside a Zabbix frontend, then this video is right for you. But first of all, like what is actually the template, what it does, what's the purpose of the template? And we can see on the screen in the section configuration templates. So this is the place where you can actually see all of your existing templates in the Zabbix that you currently have. Basically, it is just like a box with all of the entities like items, triggers, graphs, dashboards, discovery rules, and web checks. So all of the entities that are actually doing something with your host, with your devices that you're monitoring, like items that are collecting some data, we can check like Apache Tomcat by the JMX. We have item that collects the version. We have a trigger. Uh, which will notify us if the version will be changed but this is just a template this right now actually doesn't do anything and what we can do we can apply this template to the host or 100 hosts or 1000 hosts and then this item will start to collect the data and trigger will start to evaluate the data and notify us if the condition will match so why why would we actually want to export a template? First of all, it may be just for some backup, right? We have a template, not the official that comes with a Zabbix, but some custom that we created by ourselves, or maybe we purchased those from um, Zabbix as a commercial service, or just downloaded them from the internet. And we want to make sure that if something happens with our installation, that we don't lose the templates. So for that purpose, we can just export them and store on some, I don't know, other computer, drive or whatever else for just just sake of the storing and if we want to import them in some other installation or the existing installation so we can even export the template from our production instance and import it inside our dev environment and we'll have the same items triggers graphs dashboards discovery rules and all the other entities and if we want to export a template from the front end, everything is absolutely straightforward. So the only thing that we need to do is just select the template that we want to export, scroll down till the bottom of the screen, and I will use just an end button. And we have an export option where we also are able to choose like what kind of format do we want our template to be exported. Will it be the YAML, XML or the JSON? Previously in older releases, it was just one single XML format. Right now you are able to choose between these three and uh, choose the one which like is uh, more friendly for you. I will use again XML. And you, you can see that we have downloaded the file. It will always going to be called uh, ZBX, which is Zabbix Exported Templates. And I can open this file in my notepad and it looks actually like this. So I've exported JMX Tomcat, right? Just the first template. And you can see that we have one item inside it, Tomcat version. And if I will bring the notepad back up, so we have applications, uh, discovery rules, item prototypes, and I will search for a version, uh, Tomcat version, there is just a single item name, and it has all the parameters that we have right here everything the username password uh, jmx endpoint the key pre-processing rules the tags everything is inside this uh, xml so what we can do right now we can store it somewhere and then import in some other system where we can also make changes why would we want to make a changes well for some let's say more advanced configuration changes in our Zabbix instance. Let's say we want to change uh, all of the items or some parameters in the items and we don't want to do that manually. So you can write some sort of the script that will process this XML or YAML or JSON and then re-import this template back inside the Zabbix. How to import it back? Well, we again have to go to the configuration templates and you can see right here in the corner we have an import button button where we can click and then we have to choose a file choosing a file there we go Zabbix uh, export templates the one that I just exported and then there are the rules like what will happen uh, when I will actually click import and there are just three columns like update existing create new and delete missing so let's say if we're talking about uh, 
items, the most simple one, that, that those that will collect the data. So if I am importing the template and my Zabbix instance already has this item inside this template, like what will happen? I will update my existing item with the different parameters from the template that I am importing. Or if the item currently doesn't exist inside a Zabbix, it will create new. Or the third column that if I will have, let's say, five items already inside my Zabbix and I am importing the template that has only three items, then it will delete those two missing. So usually it is absolutely fine to leave everything as default settings. Click import and you see that no changes because what I did, I have exported the template, uh, this Apache Tomcat by JMX, and I did not make any changes to this template. There's nothing to change, right? That's why the import is not even working. But if I will bring my notepad back up and let's say I just want to change the template name, uh, I want to change it from Apache Tomcat by JMX to um, dash one, right? I will save it. Uh, control S and then try to import it again. So again, choose a file, Zabbix export templates, click import, and you can even see the change log. So this is the snippet of the XML file, and we can see that with the minus in front, this is the line which is gone, and with the plus is the line which is like uh, the new line, which which is changed. So previously it was Apache Tomcat by JMX. Now it is Apache Tomcat by JMX uh, dash one. And if I will click an import button, there we go, import successfully, and Apache Tomcat by JMX dash one, changes were made to this template. What are the most common uh, mistakes and the problems with uh, import or export of the templates? With an export, there are usually none. With an import is that if you are trying to import a template that, let's say, uh, was exported from the Zabbix 5.4 and you are trying to import it in the Zabbix 3.0. It's not going to work because again in the 5.4 there are new parameters, the pre-processing, some new things inside a template that are also exported and they will not going to be recognized in the Zabbix 3.0. So what you can do if you are like uh, a little, little bit more advanced and you know uh, or you can understand from the error messages which parameters actually are not recognized by the previous Zabbix, then you can just open the notepad with uh, the XML or, or the JSON or whatever else and just manually delete, uh, let's say, the tags, right? So we know that we did not have a tags in the 3.0. What we'll do, we will delete them, uh, save the template and try to import it again. Another problem might happen like if you uh, are doing vice versa. So you have exported the template um, from 3.0 and then trying to import it in 5.4 and again something breaks you get not the import successfully but you get the import failed then the easiest way would be to spin up some just empty Zabbix uh, server or not even a server just the front end empty Zabbix front end with the version uh, of which you downloaded the template and then upgrade this instance to let's say 5.4, then export it again and import inside your production instance. And the latest uh, and most common uh, pitfall which fails with the template import is let's say you again do the import, you choose the file, choose this one, click import and it loads and loads and loads and loads forever and then what you can see is just a blank page without any error messages and you just double check and you see that the template was not imported. Uh, what happens? You are getting one of the PHP parameters exhausted. So depending on uh, which web engine you are using, may it be the Nginx or HTTPD Apache, then you need to check your web engine logs. You will see either you have to increase the PHP memory or the PHP uh, timeout setting. So all of those are done in the PHP configuration file. 
just increase, let's say the default was, I think, uh, 300 seconds, make it 600 seconds and try again. So if you're getting a blank page, it is 100% uh, PHP parameter problem and you have to look for that one. So that's about it, as simple as that, how you can export or import. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like button, subscribe, and we're gonna see you in the next videos. Thank you, goodbye.